Good morning, class. It's time to grab your notebook, your pencil, your Bible, because it may be Monday, but it's time for a Bible pop quiz. I hope you are excited, right? No, you saw the notification. You're like, no, no, no. I don't want a pop quiz today. No, no. Maybe he forgot about the Bible pop quiz, but no, it's time for a Bible pop quiz. So stop, stop talking, put away your phones, uh, stop messing with each other, pay attention, eyes forward, pencils up. All right. Are you ready? It's time for a Bible pop quiz. Now, the last Bible pop quiz we did was much more kind of open-ended questions, things for you to really work on. So typically we don't go back and do a lot of review on that. I will say this, that last Bible pop quiz will lead to either a sermon or some kind of teaching on that subject later on. So as always, continue to follow the Theology Central podcast, because typically what shows up in the Bible pop quiz shows up in teaching. Sometimes what shows up in teaching shows up in the Bible pop quiz. It's a, it's a, everything is interconnected. All right. So hopefully you catch on to that. But are you ready, class? Today, for your Bible pop quiz for this Monday, November the 6th, 2023, it's all about Luke chapter 14 and Matthew chapter 23. If you've been listening to the Theology Central podcast, you know we have spent now, what, probably close to three hours on Luke 14? I still have a million questions about Luke 14. I don't know if I'm ever going to have them all answered. I still don't even know exactly the best way to approach or handle that passage, but we're going to have some very, these uh, these questions today will be very simple, straightforward. They'll be fill in the blank. So you're going to have four fill in the blank questions, multiple blanks to fill in, but four uh, fill in the blank questions. And then one will not be fill in the blank. It will require you to spend a little bit of time in Matthew 23 and to do a little bit of work. All right. So at least four fill in the blank. One is much more open-ended and will require a little bit of effort, but it's Monday, right? It's Monday, a brand new week, meaning a brand new opportunity for you to spend time in God's word, not only learning it, right? Not only hopefully memorizing it, but hopefully growing as a result of it. All right. We don't want to just be smarter. We don't want to just be able to criticize other theology, we want to be able to grow as a Christian as well. So are you ready for that? I hope so. So class, I have my notebook right here. I have my pencil. I have my pencil. Can you hear it? I have my pencil. I have my notebook. I've got Bibles all over the place, but here we go. Our first question today For the Bible Pop Quiz for November the 6th, 2023 is, and it is fill in the blank, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blanks, eight missing words, eight blanks you'll have to fill in. Are you ready? Here we go. And it came to pass as he went into the blank of one of the blank blank to eat bread on the blank, blank, that blank, blank, blank. A lot of fill in the blanks. Are you ready? A lot of missing words. Here we go. Again, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight missing words. This comes from Luke chapter 14. Here we go. And it came to pass as he went into the blank of one of the blank blank to eat bread on the blank blank that blank blank blank. All right. A lot of fill in the blanks there. You're right. Can we do that one more time? Are you sure some of you are looking around? Stop looking at your neighbor. Pay attention. Eyes forward. Okay, don't look. No, 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 no. Stop looking at their paper. Stop, stop, stop. They may be the smartest person in the class, but stop looking at them right here. Okay, right here we go. You ready? One more time. Question number one from Luke chapter 14. And it came to pass as he went into the blank of One of the blank, blank, to eat bread 
on the blank blank. That blank blank blank. That's Luke 14. How many of those fill in the blanks can you do without looking? And it came to pass as he went into the, think you should be able to get that one, of one of the blank blank. You definitely should be able to get that one. All right. And it came to pass as he went into the blank. I think you should get that of one of the blank blank. Those two blanks you should easily be able to fill in. To eat bread on the blank blank. That one is simple. That's the easiest one. That, now that, the last part is the hardest. There's three missing words here. So he he went, um, he went into the blank of one of the blank blank to eat bread on the blank blank. That blank blank blank. Those last three may be a little confusing. And remember, I am taking this from the King James Version of the Bible, just in case there's any confusion. All right. Question number two. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine missing words. Right. The first one came from Luke 14. The second question comes from Luke chapter 14. Here we go. Then said he also to him that bade him, when thou makest a blank or a blank, call not thy blank, nor thy blank, neither thy blank, nor thy blank, blank, lest they also blank, 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 and a blank be made thee. Oh, there's a lot there. This one maybe, I don't know if I could do this one. I don't think I could do this one without looking. I think, I think the first one, question number one, I can fill in, I think all of those without looking, I don't know. It wouldn't be perfect. It may may turn into my own paraphrase, but I could get question one, I think, without looking. Question two, oh boy, this one, this one would be a train wreck. This would, this would turn into the message. This would turn into the Passion Bible. This would turn into um, not even a, a paraphrase. I don't know what it would turn into. It would turn into my own version, all right? So here we go. This is from Luke 14, question number two. You ready? Here we go. Then said he also to him that bade him, when thou makest a blank or a blank, call not thy blank. I could get that one right. I could get that one right. Call not thy blank. I can get that one right. Nor thy blank, neither thy blank. Some of those I couldn't get. Nor thy blank, blank. Now, nor thy blank, blank. Those two blanks, I could get those right. Lest they also blank, blank, blank. Now I could paraphrase those three, but I could not get the exact words. And a blank, I could definitely get that one. Be made thee. Be made thee. All right, so one more time. Question number two from Luke chapter 14. Then said he also to him that bade him, when thou makest a blank or a blank, call not thy blank, nor thy blank, neither thy blank, nor thy blank, blank, lest they also blank, 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 and a blank be made thee. (laughs) That's a lot of missing words, but that's okay. That's okay. All right. That's question number two. Question one, question two. Now, remember the goal is to write this out with the blanks, right? You're supposed to be writing these out with the blanks. Then you're going to go in and fill the blanks. Then what you should do is then write it all out perfectly. Now, if you write it out the first time with the blanks, then go in, fill them blanks. And then you write it out, obviously, just the whole thing correctly. What that attempts to do is that repetition leads to retention. And then that leads to, well, the word of God getting inside of you, which then you can recall it at any time. So that's important. All right. So you should write this out when I, when, why I repeat it so many times is I'm expecting you to write it out with the blanks there. Then when you're done, If you need to, you go grab a Bible, find the verse, fill in the blanks, and then I want you to then write the whole verse out correctly, and then that that helps you retain it, all right? I don't don't always articulate that clearly, but that's kind of my expectation. The reason I want you to do that is because 
This is not just about having a fun little game. This is about trying to get the word of God into you because we've got a million distractions around us. All right, now the next one. <laughs> the next one is just basically all blanks. Okay, this is well, this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blanks. And there's only one, two, three, four. It's like there's only like... Uh, five words here. So this one's going to be hard to find. Well, I think you should be able to figure it out. I know I probably have too many blanks for this one, but that's okay. You ready? Okay. This is from Luke chapter 14, number three. For whosoever, blank, 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 blank. And he that, blank, 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 (laughs) blank. I know I made that one too hard. I know I made that one too hard. But, but it's like the key verse of Luke 14. It's like one of the key verses of Luke 14. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can't, I can't, I didn't want to make it any easier. For whosoever, blank, 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 blank. And he that, blank, 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 blank. Yeah, it's the key verse. It's the, it's one of the key verses in Luke 14. You get, if, if you know Luke 14, you have to get this one right. I know some of you are like, that's impossible to find. You just may have to do a lot of skimming of the chapter, all right? Luke 14, for whosoever, blank, 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 and he that, blank, 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 blank. That that one may I'm gonna I'm just gonna look really quick. I'm just gonna look really quick. I'm just gonna grab a Bible. See how I'm just I'm I'm I i do not know. I hope I didn't make that one too hard. I don't think I did, because I think I can find it. I think I can find it really quick. Just skim it. Yeah, I already already found it. Already found it. All right. Already found it. All right. So for whosoever, then blank, 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 blank. Yeah, okay. And he that, yeah, okay, yeah, I, I, I don't think it's too hard. I don't think it's too hard. I don't think it's too hard. I think, I don't think, I was starting to question why did I make it so hard, but I found that. Uh, but now, of course, I've been looking at Luke 14 for like, what, I don't know, a week. So probably I, I, I'm much more maybe prepared if you haven't been looking at Luke 14, but maybe you'll, you'll spend some time in Luke 14, all right? So there's question one, question two, question three, one more time for whosoever blank, 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 blank. And he that blank, 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 blank. Right, remember, write, uh, write that out with all the blanks. Then when this is over, fill in the blanks. Then write the entire verse again, all right? With the pr- uh, pr- appropriate chapter and verse reference. All right, number four. But when thou makest a blank, call the blank, the blank, the blank the blank. But but when thou makest a blank, call the blank, the blank, the blank, the blank. There is a total of one, two, three, four, five missing words. Again, this comes from Luke chapter 14. But when thou makest a blank, call the blank, the blank, the blank, the blank. That is question number four. Again, from Luke chapter 14, one more time. But when thou makest a blank, call the blank, the blank, the blank, the blank. You should be able to get some of, I don't know if you could get those in the right order, but if you've been paying a lot of attention to Luke 14, you should be able to get that one. All right. That's question one, question two, question three, and question four. And now question number five. This is the one that's more open-ended. This is one that will require a little bit more work. And this one will take you to Matthew chapter 23. The reason we went to Matthew chapter 23 is if you follow the historical lectionary yesterday, Matthew 23 was the gospel reading for yesterday. And I believe the gospel reading for yesterday fits to the lectionary readings that we had last week for Luke chapter 14. And if you're looking at the historical lectionary today, guess what you will find? Luke 14 again today is uh, the gospel reading for today. So, I mean, the historical lectionary has been Luke 14, Luke 14, Luke 14, Luke 14, and then Sunday through in Matthew 23. And I believe Matthew 23 and Luke 14 are very much connected. So I'm going to send you to Matthew 23 today. 
right? Here's what you need to do. In Matthew chapter tw- uh, 23, Jesus condemns the scribes and the Pharisees. I want you to list six things Jesus condemns them for. I want you to list six things. I want you to be able to explain what's happening. What are they being condemned for? Look, it's going to be easy to go through the text and go, oh, they did this and write it down. But you've got to be able to explain what they did. So you may have to look at a commentary. You may have to look at a study Bible. You've got to be able to explain what these six things are. List six things and then briefly just summarize what they did. Make sure you put the Matthew 23 and put the verse from which you found it. List the six things. A list at least six things. There's probably more than six things, I think definitely. But list at least six things that Jesus condemns the scribes and the Pharisees for in Matthew 23 and be able to briefly summarize what each thing is. Make sure you have some kind of a grasp of exactly what they were doing. And then write down Matthew 23, this verse, Jesus condemns them for this. This is what it means. Uh, Matthew chapter 23, the next verse, whatever it is, Jesus condemns them for this. This is what that means. Make sure you have six things listed and explained and the rep and the verse down. You're going to be in Matthew 23. You're going to be looking, Jesus condemns the scribes and the Pharisees. I believe many of the things you see in Matthew 23, I think relate to what's going on in Luke chapter 14, not to start preaching because that's what I would like to do. But I think, I think this will all be beneficial. This will help get you back into Luke 14, back into Matthew chapter 23, spend a little bit more time writing the, the question out with the blank, fill in the blank, then writing out the verse again, and then doing the work in Matthew 23, all should lead to a kind of a, a, a refresher, get, getting you back into the text, and hopefully the repetition will lead to retention, which then will get the Word of God inside of you. And then hopefully from there, the Word of God will do its work, and it will be challenging, convicting, and help you grow spiritually. Those are your five questions. For the Bible Pop Quiz for November the 6th, 2023. Those are the six questions for the Bible Pop Quiz for this November the 6th, 2023. The Bible Pop Quiz for November the 6th, 2023, if I'm saying that correctly. All right. I, I'm, I'm sitting here debating with myself. Do I read those questions again? I'll just read the last one one more time. In Matthew 23, Jesus condemns the scribes and the Pharisees. List six things Jesus condemns them for. Make sure you put down the verse where you found one of those things and then make sure you write out just a brief. It can be so very brief. I mean, it can be a sentence. It can be like a little bullet statement, just summarizing what this meant. Some of these things are very self-explanatory, right? Some of them are like, you can just say hypocrisy, right? Some of these may require a little bit more for, uh, uh, I don't want to give one away. I was going to grab Matthew 23 really quick, but I won't give one away. I was going to give you an example, but I don't want to be doing the work for you. It's a Bible pop quiz. It's not, it's not for me to teach you right now. All right, there you have it. I hope you have a great day spending time in Luke 14 and Matthew 23. I hope you'll give it much thought. I hope you'll continue to meditate on Luke chapter 14 and spend some time meditating on Matthew 23. Okay. There's your Bible pop quiz, November the 6th, 2023 for this Monday. Hope you enjoy. Hope you spend time. Don't let this be a burden. Don't let this be um, anything negative. It's, it should be you, you're an opportunity for you to spend some time in God's word with very direct things you're looking for, very direct things to answer. And I hope it's more of a blessing than anything else. And you can always contact me. If you would like to send me your work, I, someone uh, from uh, Nebraska sent me their work, I think today, uh, for the Bible Pop Quiz um, and they did uh, the, I think, I can't remember. I got two emails uh, from Nebraska, or not Nebraska, Indiana. I think it was Indiana. Two emails from Indiana today. Yeah, not Nebraska, Indiana. So thanks to that person for putting forth the effort and the work. Hopefully it was beneficial to them. If you would like to just send your work just to show, just email me, newsif at yahoo.com, newsif at yahoo.com. That's newsif at yahoo.com. Because, uh, well, I always like to see that people are putting forth the effort and hopefully you're benefiting from it. All right. Thank you so very much. Everyone have a great day. May God bless you as you study his word. 